real true education, not fake news. It's written on the bottom of this here. It's a bit awkward for me to get my sign, my background sign up in this location. Uh, before I move on to the subject, this is not for everybody, but it could affect anyone. And it has the strange title of Sewer Pipes 32K Gradient. Sewer Pipes or Foul Sewers 32K Gradient. It's the 10th of September 2020. And I'm here in uh, a valley of the River Glide. Uh, beside the upper reaches of the River Glide. If you're trying to locate me, you go to Doonery Forest Park and I'm about a mile or 1.4 kilometers upstream from there. I want to pause the camera now to show you something here. Now in there is the river. It's only about uh, 12 to 14 feet across. And it drains the Loch and Lea Mountain down through Dunnery Forest Park, it joins with other branches and it eventually becomes the River Glide flowing into the sea at Anagasson County Louth. And you can't see here because this little bit is sort of reserved as a wee nature reserve trying to encourage back me friend the Red Squirrel which used to be plentiful here. But you can see the river going down there just about if you look carefully. It's not so easy seeing it. There's the water there. And there's a gorge there, a height of about uh, 25 feet. On this side it's about 35, 40 feet. You can convert that to 10 or 12 metres. And over centuries the river has dug a trench down. So obviously there must have been a lake here at one time because the two, the, the highest points, the lowest points here are about 14 metres above the level of the river. And there was probably a lake in the valley here. And so the river eventually cut through the rock. You can see the hard rock there where it is constantly cutting it. But funny enough, if you take a crowbar to that rock, bits of it will break out. So I'm just showing you that for a particular reason. And we go back now to the point I'm making about the fall for water pipes. So filming is a little bit difficult here and there's been the odd shower of rain going, going by. But we'll get this done it'll be very short. Uh, it's on this particular subject matter. But everyone needs a house. And so it could be relevant to anybody. Now before I just go into the main video, and this has to be a short video, I want to give a plug for the film and the documentary Planet of the Humans. P-L-I-N-E-T. Planet of the Humans by Michael Moore and Jeff, Jeff Gibb. This is a must see. It is released about four months ago and it was banned for a while and it has over 9 million views worldwide. And if you're really that busy, go and see the last 10 minutes of it. And when you see the last 10 minutes, you might actually go and look at it all. It just, it proves what I've been saying all along about one particular issue. Uh, so have a look at that. The Planet of the Humans by Michael Moore and Jeff Gibb directors. Enough said. So what is the correct fall for a so foul sewer? Now the architect or surveyor will, will, will set out what the fall is on the drawing and uh, it's, it's, um, it's usually correct you have to go by it but I would question it. I'd go back and double check if it differs from 1 in 40 to 1 in 60. 1 in 40 to 1 in 60. I'll just move that back. Ground is very rough. 1 in 40 to, to 1 in 60. So you can have 1 in 50, 1 in 45, 1 in 62. My own preference is 1 in 43. I found it very good. But you can vary between that quite a bit. Now there's a big, big misconception. And some of my viewers will know this already. But it's no harm to clarify it once and for all. There's a big misconception. You'll hear people saying the correct fall, it, they'll read the, the design and it'll be one, fall, one, fo, one in 40, one in 60. That's one inch and 40 feet. That is actually one in 480. That's not enough of a fall. They'll say one inch and 40 yards. That's one four four eight. 
ridiculously inadequate. And one in five six o. Oh, that's where you get one inch and forty meters. So one inch and forty feet is four one and four eighty. One inch in forty yards is one and one four four eight. And one inch in forty meters is one five six o. Oh. See that? So all of them, all of them are a disaster. A disaster. Now, this river here, uh, this river here works out at, uh, I measured the quantum, and it, the fall is 10 inches in, uh, in, 100, in 100 yards. And that works out roughly at 1 in 360. And the river runs okay, but there's no foul in this. There's no solids or paper or anything like that. And it has a constant flowing stream. The sewer is only flushed occasionally. And so that would be totally inadequate uh, to use. Now, if you hear, one of the things about this, people will say, tough guys will say, oh, once there's any fall at all, that's all you need. That's the tough man. Any fall will do, once there's any fall. But there's good reasons why that is not a good idea. The correct fall is somewhere between 140 and 160 depending on the architect's design and he takes responsibility for that. Or if you're doing it yourself, my simple measure, and I'm, if it goes wrong for you that's too bad, I can't take responsibility for that, but my measure has always been 1 and 43 and that's worked very good for me. Now in one instance I was doing a, a sewer that had to go right around a house. This house had a septic tank and I had to put the connection to the main road and I had to come out the back and go around. And because of other pipes I had only the smallest tiniest piece in the first uh, we'll say about 35 meters maybe maybe 38 meters. I only had a tiny bit. If you have to go to that very very low fall you need to make sure that, sorry, that your spirit level on top of the, the four inch uh, 80 millimeter uh, Waven pipe or cork plastics or yellow pipe that's universally used, you make sure that everywhere you put your spirit level on top, on top, the bubble faces is raises slightly towards the toilet and away from the outlet. The toilet's up here, there, the, the, the connections down here are the septic tank. This must be the situation, right? See that there now? I don't know, can you see it? That must be the situation. It must be some variation of that. It can't be between the two. I'm not sure if you can see this. And it certainly can't be this way. It has to be ever so slightly this way. And there is no room for any dip. You cannot have a dip. If you're doing that, if you're putting in at 1 and 43 or thereabouts, then, and you're not maybe too too particular, or there's not, and you can put a bit of bedding under it, and a bit of mortar under it, or a wee bit of, of lime and sand mix, or even gravel, then you can be a bit bolder. But still at no point must it ever face level or up the hill. It must always have a slight incline. Always have a slight incline up the way. In other words, the part up at the toilet outlet must be slightly higher than the outlet going into the septic tank or wherever it's going. Now you'll hear people say one inch and forty foot and forty and forty meters. I've written the no, the name no N O there, and I'm beginning to sound like an old schoolmaster. But I couldn't believe when I worked on sites and talked to people and even mentioned it in the company of people or even in a pub. Or somebody's, somebody's talking about building. I always throw in that weak question. What's the correct fall? Is it 1 in 40? Oh yeah, it's 1 in 40. Oh no, I use 1 in 50. Good. And then I say, is that 1 inch and 40 feet or what? Oh, 1 inch and 40 metres. Only about 1 in 3 will actually get the real answer right. Which is, it's units. 1 in 40 units. These have to be the same. The 1 and the 40 has to be the same. Whatever you're using, whatever ratio you're using, must be, I'm sorry I'm a bit, a bit caught here for space, must be the same. If you're using metres, it must be 1 in 40 metres, 1, one metre in 40 metres, feet 1 foot in 40 f feet, yards 1 yard in 40 yards, inches 1 inch 
in 40 multiply by 12. You have to multiply it by 12. You can't have 1 inch in 40 anything other than inches. Okay. Now. So. You get into trouble with a lot of people. And a lot of people uh, got thick with me over this. So uh, I've made, made it here. 1 metre in 40 metres is the correct one. If you're using that ratio. 1 yard in 40 yards. And what the chat and the discussion all has changed. To, no. It's 1 in 56. Oh, we always use that. And what is that? 1 inch in 56 metres. And they argue about the actual ratio. Whereas the ratio is not near as important. As having the two units the same. You are better with 1 metre in 100 metres. Than have it an inch in the wrong in something else. You just cannot do that. And the amount of people who cannot understand that. Or get that into their head. And I've seen them putting them in. And I've seen where I was in, involved in work. And getting jobs done. That stand and say no, no, no you're wrong. And I'd have to say no. That's it. It's whatever we are. It's 1 in 45 it's one inch up there to 45 inches, to, to in 45 inches down here, or whatever it is. It doesn't matter about the actual ratio so much as getting the two the same. And they'd be thick as bulls. Now, there must be no dips. The bubble must always be facing towards the toilet. Um, now... I know from bitter experience, because I lived in houses, some of them actually which were originally designed by the Office of Public Works. And I'd find myself on a lovely sunny Easter Monday day, thinking of maybe with young kids going to the races or something. And the blooming sewer would be blocked. The whole toilets would all be blocked and it built up the pipes. And they were old terracotta pipes. <coughs> and here I'd be out with the rods, rotness and the stink. And it'd stay on your hands the whole day. And it'd be when you go to bed at night, it'd be there. And you'd get it rid. And you'd have to be telling everyone not how to do it. And you'd have to be constantly flushing the toilet. Try and keep it flushed. It's an absolute dirty, rotten nightmare. And it's happening, folks. And I know it's happening. And I prevented it happening a few times. But I'm not everywhere. And I'm not, I'm not in that business t totally. Around a farm, it applies. And it applies also in a farm but it doesn't really matter so I had bitter experience of this I had bitter experience so go ahead when you're in some night with a couple of boys or a couple of people just bring it up and see what answer you'll get and if you argue with them you'll have, your night's over so you're as well let them at it but be aware of them so I think I've covered everything that and I'm happy enough with that the key is that you, there's two separate points. There's the fall that's decided on, either by the owner of the house, by the architect, or whatever else, whoever else does it. It might be the builder. The fall that's decided on, and most good builders don't even have to be told this, whatever it is. It's, I'd go for 1 in 43 as a good average where you can get away with it. But where you have another pipe or electricity line or something under the ground that you can't go below a certain amount, there must be a fall. You'll get away with 1 in 60 in that circumstances. And I have put them in at about 1 in 90 where I absolutely had to with turns, gradual turns. And they never blocked in 35 years. I put nice gradual turns. I made everything right. I took an extra day to get it really well. Get the top of the pipe right. Make sure the pipe had no kinks in it. Get good quality piping. And it never gave trouble in, in a lifetime. And that was a higher ratio. But the, guy, the bios mix that up. They think it's cool. Oh, you'll get away with 1 in 90. But that's all right. That's all right. And you may have to do that. You're better off. With the proper one, one and sixty at the at, at at the shallowest, and I'd go for one and forty-three as my favourite. You can go one and forty. If you have it too much, like one and twenty, the water all runs away and the solid stays behind. That's a well-known fact. Now Mitchell's book of Mitchell's, Mitchell's construction was my manual when I was a student at Carrick Macross Vocational School, and nothing has changed. There's Builder's Bond and Builder's Bible and several others. They all agree because this is bitter experience. People have discovered this by bitter experience. And long ago, there would be a clerk of works on on a job to make sure all these things was done right. That seems to be gone by the wayside now. So I hope I've made that clear. Lovely short video. 
uh, I'm away now, uh, and thank you very much for looking in. I don't like to sound like an old preacher man, uh, preaching all he knows, but this can save an awful lot of grievance at 15 minutes. Whatever ratio you use, whatever the fall is, right, in whatever length, it must be the same unit, inches, millimetres, centimetres, metres, or whatever. It must be the same unit. It cannot be different. And if it is, somebody is going to pay dearly for that mistake. Folks, give me a thumbs up if you think that's worthwhile. And a thumbs down. And I'm very sorry if I sound like a bit of a, bit of, a, bit of a given out foreman or something. But this is so, so important. Very good. We'll see you back. And bye-bye. We'll see you. Good luck. This, the first, this, by the way, is the 10th of September. Thank you very much.